Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's going to be my office tour. It is a highly requested and highly anticipated video. I've been promising this for ages. So if you want to see how I have changed my office and how it's all set up, then just stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna start in my wardrobe. So this is just a typical built-in wardrobe. There's nothing too special about the wardrobe itself. Please ignore everything up the top. That is my junk pile. I have a junk pile. Everything just gets chucked up there if I haven't got somewhere to put it. So there's a bunch of stuff up there that I have absolutely no idea what it's for, but it's there. Um, so this has changed a little bit from the last time. Basically last time we had um, two, no we didn't, we only had, we had two? We had two of the Kallaxes, but there was nothing in between them. There's just kind of this space. So what I've done is I've moved my Alex Nine drawers in here push them just a little bit more to get them to fit into the corner which has taken a little bit of space away I will admit um, but generally has given me a lot more storage space in here and you'll see why I put the drawers in here in just a minute so nothing's changed with the way I store my paper still got the Ikea kind of lettuce tray that keeps all my 12 by 12s in it still got my little stack of six and six and a half by six and a half which is very quickly growing that collection um, and I keep all my old planner stuff uh, down the bottom on the left hand side in the middle of the two, I've got this gorgeous letter tray. That's from Kmart. This is where I keep everything that you guys send me. It's just a little reminder every time I open the cupboard um, how awesome my subscribers are um, and how much I love getting stuff from you. So that's all in there. Um, in the drawers is all not junk. It's not junk, but it's uh, it's not planning stuff. It's just life stuff, boring things like I keep my passport in there and I keep like pencil cases and training stuff and my ankle strap just things that I need to know where they are but I don't use so often and then on the other side I have my duplicate paper lovers books and all of my Kiki Hay books I've got my cute and sweet boxes and I've got all my planners anonymous boxes they all live in there and I don't know what I'm gonna do actually when I run out of room but I'll, I'll work that out um, I also have all of my flow paper love, flow paper lovers books over there as well as well as a bunch of wrapping paper contact that sort of stuff that all lives up down there my really 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 big rolls of wrapping paper they all live up the top this is actually a really cool tip if you do have um one of these sort of shelving units in your like the the hanging rail sorry that has got like a triangle thing to be able to put things in keep your paper in there it fits really nicely um, and it's just a way to be able to keep it out of the way and stored without having to get all over the place or rumpled up it's just perfectly back there the other thing that I absolutely adore in this cupboard that is new is my pin board which has all of my gorgeous planner charms, paper clips and everything that I get from my uh, planner bay boxes or my cute and sweet boxes. Um, the part, like it's just a Kiki K small pin board and I've just put a poster that came out of, I think it was one of the Flow Paper Lovers books, might have been a poster book. Um, it just says rain is just confetti from the sky. That's just pinned on the back and then I've just got string hung across which has all my paper clips on it. I just love being able to see them all at a glance. It makes really easy trying to find them when I need them. Um, I'll admit most of them are there just for decoration. I don't use all of them, uh, but it is just a nice way to be able to go, okay, well, I want to put a paper clip in this week, but I don't know what kind. So I'm just going to go and have a look at my pin board and see what I've got. So that's my cupboard. I'm kind of still working out exactly the best way for this. Like I said, I'm worried about when I run out of room for my Planners Anonymous boxes. Uh, so I have to rejig it a little bit then. But I do love the way this cupboard fits now. I love having the drawers in the middle. It's just giving an extra little bit of storage space and takes that stuff out of the, it, it just fills up space. And again, you'll see what I mean when I turn around in a minute and you see um, what's gone in where the Alex drawers used to be. So when the cupboard's shut, I also have these couple of little bits that just hide behind the door a little bit. So on the left-hand side there, I've got my bag tree. Nothing exciting, it's just a bag tree from Kmart. Uh, but I just love having somewhere to put all the bags that I don't use um, and I don't use a lot of them. I have a spare bin down there and then I have a Ikea cart. I'm trying to think, I think it's a rag sog. Uh, I actually bought this second hand off Gumtree. Uh, so on the top one there I've got my DIY cuts machine. I have done a review of that one so I'll link it for you if you want to go and check it out. So all my DIY cut stuff lives there. Um, this isn't well organized. I've certainly seen a hell of a lot more better um, planner carts, especially on Facebook and Instagram, but this is just sort of an extra storage area for me. So on the second one, I keep um, some extra baby wipes, which I've always got in here. 
um, an extra set of bin liners because I go through bin liners like there's no tomorrow. And then down the bottom is actually stuff that I'm storing to make for the wedding. Um, so there's a bunch of fairy lights and some spray paint down there. It's just to keep it where I know where it is. Um, but at some point I will do this cut up. I just haven't got around to it yet. But I do love having my DIY cuts in there because it fits in there really, really nicely. Um, also behind the cart, I just keep my backgrounds that I take my photos on. So they're just poster board with contact on them. Um, one's white, one's black. There's also a, a, another board there that I'm going to use for the wedding. So that's hiding behind there as well. Um, but I actually find having the cart up against the wall actually allows me to keep things behind it. So that's just a bit of a tip if you do have those kind of big board things. Um, if you do want somewhere to keep it, try and put it behind something or to the side of something so that way it stays out of your way. So this is the biggest change in this room when I sort of put all the furniture into consideration. So this is where my nine drawer used to live. And as you can see, the Calyx is a lot wider than the nine drawer. And that was the biggest problem was that I had this space in between the wall and the nine drawer that I didn't enjoy. So that's why that's gone in there. And this has become so much more useful now. Uh, so starting at the bottom, I've just got some boxes down there. Most of those are Kiki K boxes or similar um, that I actually use to store old things in. Actually, one of them at the moment's got all my wedding bits and pieces in. Uh, so they're all down there. And then on the other side, I have some folders. I've got some wedding folders, some house folders, uh, bits and pieces. And then that box actually is where I keep all of my Kiki K um, inserts that I don't use. They all live in there. Um, you guys have had a little bit of a sneak peek of the next little bit, which is all of my planners. I love having them all out on display. It makes me feel really happy and also makes me feel really sad at the same time because I know how much money I spend on them. Uh, so down in the bottom corner or the middle corner there, I've got like my personal ones and my B6 ones and my Mumsy and Bub one. And then I've got more A5 planners on the other side. The box that's sitting on top of the planners is actually my wedding invitations, which I am halfway through doing. Um, and I will be showing you how I've made those uh, in the next couple of weeks. I also have my scoreboard, which doesn't live in my drawers because it doesn't fit. Uh, that lives on that side, on the right hand side as well. Then moving up a level, this bit you have seen, you've seen all of my planners, they're all there. I will link that video down below in case you haven't seen my entire planner collection walkthrough, but they're all there for you. And then on the left hand side, I do have my Cricut mats, which I just, anything 12 by 12 fits really nicely in these squares, which I, is my favorite thing about the Calaxes. Honestly, that's, they fit beautifully, um, anything that is a 12 by 12. So I never have to worry about them not fitting in the space. And then above that, this is where my Cricut lives. And I have altered the, the um, I have altered the shelves just a little bit to fit the Cricut. So I just didn't put the divider in the middle there. And what that's done is it given me this beautiful open space to be able to keep my Cricut, as well as to have a little box on the side with my Cricut pens, keep my petty thing in there as well, just so I know where it is, um, and a beautiful plant behind it. And then it's also then allowed me on the top to have somewhere to put my mink machine, so that lives up there. I've also got my shelves, which used to hold all my planners. They just sit in the corner um, and just have pretty things on them. There's nothing up there that I use on a regular basis, but they're just there um, just as to, to keep things looking pretty. Um, there used to be a candle that lived up there, but I have used it, so I need to get another one. Um, and Ryan bought me the beautiful ash thing. Um, was it for Christmas or my birthday? I don't remember. Was it my birthday? Bought me that for my birthday, and I just love it being up there. I think it looks really, really cool. So also on the side here is just another way that I can store some of my more used paper clips or ones that I reach for a lot. So that's just string tied around the outside of the um, of the bookcase. Nothing too particularly special there, but it just re works really well to keep these paper clips on. And then down below that, I've actually got a way to store my craft mats. That clip came out of the Kiki K advent calendar. And I just use that to actually hold on to those to make sure they don't slide down in between the drawers and the shelves. Um, but that way they're just out of the way. If I don't need them, they don't need to be out, but they're really easy for me to grab and just pull in if I do actually need to use them. So in the drawers that are sitting on the left-hand side of my desk, I just keep a bunch of random stuff. This sort of isn't all planner stuff. Honestly, these drawers are probably the emptiest of all of them. The top one's actually completely empty except for just a mouse that I have to use sometimes because I need to right click. I keep all of my foils for my Heidi Swap in the second drawer. The third drawer and the fourth drawer are actually um, like where I keep all my paper trimmers or keep my scoreboards or things like that. Um, all my Wear Memory Keepers tools, they all live in those two drawers. And then the bottom drawer, I just keep a bunch of papers and 
laminating sheets and photo printing stuff. It's, it's kind of a junk drawer, not a bad one, but anything that's paper that doesn't fit, that's not 12 by 12, that kind of lives in that drawer down the bottom. While I'm down on the floor, I also have my chair. So the chair is new. Um, this is from eBay. I'm not 100% sure of the store, but I will link it down below for you so you can go and check it out. Um, I think it's leather. Is that leather, Ryan? No, not leather, fake leather. Um, but beautiful white, it's adjustable, it goes up and down, like it's a gas lift one. It does lean all the way back, it's got beautiful neck support and those armrests do go up and down. So if you want to pull them up and get them out of your way, you can. Or if you want to leave them down, you can. Um, it is also on wheels, so it does move around um, reasonably easily. While we're sort of talking about the, the, um, the chair, we'll go down to the mat. Please ignore all the holes that are on the floor because that's just what happens when I'm making stuff in here. Um, this mat is from Ikea. I will put my hand up and say this is the worst computer mat I've ever had or floor mat I've ever had. It doesn't stay in the right spot even though we've put like tons and tons of glue on the bottom to try and get it to not stick to the floor but so that it doesn't slide around so much. Um, I will eventually get a new one but just for now this one really isn't, like it's doing the job, it's protecting the floor um, but it just gets on my nerves because it slides out a lot. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend this one. Um, but if you just need it for a short period of time and you can deal with it moving a bit, well, it's not the worst thing in the world, um, but not great if you're gonna have it long term. So up on top of my desk, this hasn't changed all that much either. It's still the same um, desktop that was before. There obviously is just a little bit of a gap between the shelf and the desk, which is a, it's a, it's not a pain. It keeps things out of the way, honestly. Um, I keep my hard drives down there and they don't get bumped, which is really nice. Um, but like, it, it's just a, you learn how to deal with it. And I've got my computer that's the same as before and I've got a couple of pen cups up there that keep everything in. I have changed the way that I store all of my Staedtler pens. As you can see, I have far, far, far too many of them. Um, but I love to have them where I can see all the different colours. Those are just little pen boxes that I bought from Ikea. I think they were like $3 each on clearance and you got three sizes in there. Um, so I've just set them up. There's just some foam board in between that are separating the colors. Uh, really, really simple setup. And then I love that I can put paper clips and stuff on the front of them as well. I am still debating covering them with contact. I don't think I can be bothered and I kind of like the crisscross anyway. Um, but that has been really useful and it's just put then on, on steps, which is just cardboard boxes that I've had around the place. Uh, I think one of them's actually my Apple Watch box, something might be something else that just gives it that level so that they don't all sit at the same level. And then next to those, I have my markers. I've got my Crayola Super Tips at the bottom and I've got my Tombos at the top. I have done reviews of both of those, so I'll link that video for you as well. Um, they did used to sit on top of my stickers, which are coming up in just a sec, um, but I got kind of frustrated that they moved around a lot and they kind of got stuck underneath the the vision board. So what I did is I made the little stand using foam board. It's just stuck together with masking tape and that keeps the super tips on the bottom easy to pull out and push back in again. Uh, but the Tombos are still really easy to get to as well when I need to. Sitting next to that I have my Own Your Story book which I'm in the process of filling out as well as two of my display books. One of them keeps my stencils in it and the other one keeps my stickers that don't fit in either my planner or in not that they don't fit in my planner, it's just that they're not in my planner. Um, so they're all living in there. And then next to that, just a couple of other notebooks. One of them's got, is a Kiki K one that I'm just keeping all my insider notes in. And it's just so that I don't lose it. Um, I do want to put them in my planner, but my biggest fear with that is that I'll leave it somewhere and I don't want to. So that way I just know I'm not going to lose it. Sitting next to all of that is my sticker containers. These are from Daiso. I have shown you these, uh, these before. Um, and I just keep all of my stickers in here. These are my small sheets or the sheets that I go to a lot more often. Um, I love having them sorted in there by where I got them from. It just makes it really easy to find. And then on the top, I just have my little mini tripod that I do my zooms in and some stamps because at the moment I'm in the process of doing my invitations. Above all of that is my vision board. You have seen this just recently, I've just redone it. Um, and it's this beautiful paper from Kiki K with some just some beautiful quotes. Um, and still, at the, I say still, they never have. Um, the, the blank bits are supposed to be for my priorities. I've been really slack with doing that lately, I don't know why. 
um, but I need that's where I'm going to put little notes with what my priorities are for the week or the day or the month whatever it might be um, I've just been really slack doing that to be honest and the beautiful balance down the side which is actually helping a lot like just being able to look up and go okay have I done everything I need to do today what haven't I given myself time for and I go back and I find the, the thing that I haven't gone through as much um, I really like having that word just sitting there then the last thing is my washi tape holder. This is actually a ribbon holder from Spotlight. Definitely something you guys have seen before. All I've done though is I flipped it around. That's actually supposed to sit the other way, but I have real issues taking the washi tape out that way. So this way I can pull the rods out whenever I like. Um, I move the washi tape that's on there. Sometimes it's like I move it to the stuff that I'm using more than others. I try to use the, the stuff on here more than I use the stuff in the drawer just because it's on display um, and I, I to change it up every once in a while just so I can see what new stuff I've got. Um, there is some new Aldi stuff sitting on top there which I need to find a home for which at the moment is just sitting there um, but will eventually move itself onto the racks and then I'll move some of the other ones into the drawers. So this corner has also changed just a little bit so I've kind of moved around the way everything sat and put in an extra piece of wood which sounds really weird but will make sense in a sec. So in the far left hand corner you can see there's actually a piece of wood sitting there that's not doing anything. The idea is that that's actually holding up the other piece of wood that becomes the shelf that everything sits on. Um, it's a very crude way of doing it. If I could build them in I would but unfortunately we're still in a rental so we can't do that. Um, so this is just my way of kind of making what I want without actually having to nail anything together. So we've got the piece of wood that holds everything up there on the left. Next to that I have two of the Kiki K magazine holders and these hold a bunch of stuff that I don't use very often. So we've got a, a notepad that doesn't fit into the size category of all of the others. Um, there's the Paper Lovers book that came in the Christmas, the Christmas box like two years ago. There's some sticker books. Um, there's the Aldi sticker books. There's some Kmart sticker books. There's an Erin Condren sticker book that all live in there. Uh, next to all of that, I keep all of my Paper Lovers books that are in use. I put that in little inverted commas. Um, these are ones that I use or I've been using as opposed to the ones that live in the cupboard which most of them are either new or very much new or nearly new. Um, I also keep all of my notepads, the big ones in here, that all lives next to that. Um, and I can see which ones they are because I can actually see the, the tops or I can just easily pull them down to be able to see which ones they are. Next to that and holding up the other side of that piece of wood that's my shelf are my Officeworks sets of drawers. These are fantastic for keeping washi tape in. I absolutely adore them. They're still not full, but they're pretty darn close at the moment. Um, I'll do a full washi tape collection video if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, it'll be repeating a little bit because I have been trying not to buy as much washi tape. <laughs> um, but I have been trying not to buy so much washi tape. Um, and so I haven't added a lot, but I've added enough that if you guys want me to do that update, I can. If you go up then, um, you see just a box that I keep, it's just a, a box that's there, there's nothing in it, it's just more just for somewhere to put stuff um, and it keeps at the moment I've got my bags, my Kiki K bags, I keep these, my planners in these in my actual backpack just so that I don't damage them or I don't accidentally like spill my lunch on them or whatever um, and because they're, they're, they're cotton they're just really easy to chuck in the wash if they do get dirty. Then next to that I've got all my magazine files. I keep all of my Kiki K sticker books up here so they're in the first three. I then have my Kayser Craft sticker books which live in the second two and I've got all my Kiki K B5 notepads. They all live in the last three. As you can see one of them doesn't fit. I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to get around this now that Kiki K keep bringing out more and I have too many. Um, but they all live there. They're always really easy to find, pull out when I need to use them. Um, I do not use them as much as I should and then up the top I have just a board that my mum bought me that just says follow your dreams I just love having it up in here and I think it looks really beautiful really really simple um, at the new house when we get to it I'll probably actually hang that because it does have that pretty rope on it um, but just for now it sits there rather nicely and I think gives that corner just a little bit more a um, little bit more zhuzh so underneath this corner I just have two more sets of the Alex 5 drawers um, these are both pretty old now, but I still love these. I, I, if you're setting up an office for the first time, can I just recommend, I can't recommend these drawers highly enough. They're fantastic. So the bottom one on the left hand side keeps all my post-it notes. Yes, I have too many, but they're all in there. Second one has notebooks, uh, paper scraps, just bits and pieces that haven't been used yet. 
This one's got paper scraps in it as well, as well as all of my um, sort of long off cuts from my Kayser Craft pads. Whoops, stuck. Um, I've then got some pens and some sticker makers and some other bits and bobs in there. And then the top one keeps some extra glue tape, some more pens, some paper clips, just general sort of stationary stuff all lives in there. On the other side, on the top, I keep all of my stamps and my stamp pads. Basically anything stamp related, not quite, but mostly sits in that drawer. The next one down has a bit of string. I'm, like I said, I'm doing my wedding invitations at the moment, so they're in here. Um, as well as some rub-ons and some sticker pads, they live in there. Next one has all of my uh, other bits of string. So I've got bunches of twine and leather and other bits and pieces. I also have some die cuts in here, so they live in these plastic containers in there as well. Next one down has all my quote cards. Um, there are a lot of them, and I try and keep them as organized as I possibly can. All the boxes are in the back, so the ones that came in the boxes live in the boxes, they don't come out, uh, but the ones that come in like the packets, they all live in here. And then the last one is a little empty, but has a couple more of the quote card ones, mainly the large ones. They tend to live in this bottom one. Um, they don't get as much love or use, but I just love having them in there. While we're down here, we'll go along, just I've got my bin there and then my backpack sits in that corner. Not really a corner, but it tends to live under there as well. It just is a place for it to live without it being in the way. Um, so it always just gets chucked underneath the chair there. That chair is from Officeworks. Um, it is not a good chair. I don't like it. Um, it breaks constantly and I've got to fix it and then I kind of feel wobbly in it. Um, so I would not recommend that chair. I need to find another one before we go into the new house, but just for now, um, it is doing the job. I can sit on it. It's just not the best chair in the world. So the last thing that's in this room is completely not planner related at all. It's my makeup station. It just lives in here because it's the easiest place to have it. I hate having it um, in my bedroom. It just feels like it messes up that area. Um, so all I've got, I have all my palettes on the left hand side. They live in a letter holder that's from Kmart that actually matches the tray that's in my cupboard. I've got bunches of hairspray, etc. I've got tissues, makeup, jars to keep all my bits and pieces in, all my brushes, and I've got the best makeup holder in the entire world. That spins around and it's fantastic. That's from the makeup box shop. That all sits on top of an Alex drawer that is really, really dirty. Um, it's just a two drawer, it just pops out, and I love it because it gives me that extra little bit of height, um, but it also allows me to hide away the stuff that doesn't need to be out. Um, like I said, it's a bit dirty at the moment, but at least it matches everything in here. Um, the other really cool thing, which I know I have shown you guys sneak peeks of, is that Ryan has actually set this, um, he built this mirror for me, and he's actually set it up so that it's got lights that are connected to the Wi-Fi. So I can actually turn it on with my phone. So I've got my phone in my hand right now, and I can turn the lights on, or I can turn the lights off. And it is just so cool. I love doing it. It's a really weird thing, but I can be sitting on the train on the way to work and go, crap, I forgot to turn my lights off and can hit the button. Or I can scare Ryan in the middle of the day and just turn the lights on for no reason at all, other than just to freak him out. Um, I love that little feature. It's completely redundant. Like it doesn't do anything other than turn on lights, but I just love the fact that I can do it with my phone. Um, but I also love this mirror. It gives me perfect amount of light in here. Like obviously I've got lights all over the place now so that this place is lit up like Christmas um, so you guys can see everything. But when those lights are turned off, it can be a little bit dark in here um, and sometimes the light doesn't come in through the window all that nicely. So to be able to have that much extra light from my mirror is just fantastic. So that's my little makeup station. Um, and then I've got my office works chair, of course, which I talked to you about just before. I love it. It's decorated just the nice way, um, but I love it, it's decorated in such a pretty way with my photos and quotes and stuff up the top, but it's not too over the top and it's still really functional. So that is my entire room tour, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. It's been a long one, I know, um, but I do love showing you around my office. I know I didn't go into as much detail as I could have, so if you do want more detail on anything that I've told you today, uh, please let me know down below and I'll answer your questions as best I can. The way you store your stuff is really personal. It depends on what you like and what you, how you want to keep things out or hidden away. Um, so just keep that in mind. Some people don't like to have things as displayed as I do, uh, but I really love having it out where I can see everything. Um, and this room obviously is multifunctional. It's not just my office. It's also a filming space and also a storage space and also where I do my makeup. So um, it needs to be multifunctional as well as really, really 
pretty um, and somewhere that I keep all my planner stuff. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, don't forget to be subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything and check me out on all of my social medias. They're all linked down below as well, as well as a couple of discount codes if you are interested in using them. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.